The Border Patrol in El Paso now reporting an average of more than 2,400 illegal border crossings every day. Please disperse. Nothing to see here, please. Unreal. As if trust in Americans' institutions weren't already at all-time lows. Thanks to the repeated exposure of partisan corruption from the IRS, the DOJ, the FBI, our mass media, big tech, and now the Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> I know, I know. Who could have ever have predicted that happening? Everyone! After all these years of failing to enforce immigration laws and failing to secure the border, the government now gaslights the public with these blatant lies. As required by today's Supreme Court order, the Title 42 public health order will remain in effect and individuals who attempt to enter the U.S. unlawfully will continue to be expelled to Mexico or their home country. Okay, isn't that exactly how it's supposed to work? And don't we have Donald Trump to thank for that? Is it possible this story is true? Yes, it is. People should not listen to the lies of smugglers who take advantage of vulnerable migrants, putting lives at risk. The border is not open and we will continue to fully enforce our immigration laws. <laughs> and that's exactly the kind of gaslighting I'm talking about. If they were enforcing our immigration laws, why would we have this problem in the first place? We will continue to manage the border, but we will do so within the constraints of decades old immigration system that everyone agrees is broken. <laughs> we need Congress to pass the comprehensive immigration reform legislation President Biden proposed the day he took office. So is this a political ad or a statement from what's supposed to be a nonpartisan institution. Just ignore the record breaking numbers flowing across the border with at least 73,000 known gotaways in just one month and now open support for unchecked borders by Democrats. Believe us when we say the border's not open. Please believe me. Please believe me. Is it just me or does this statement from the DHS read like a list of demands from a hostage taker? Go along with what Democrats call immigration reform or will continue to allow people flowing across the border. And we all know that so-called immigration reform is just amnesty for 11 million illegal immigrants that Democrats think will give them permanent control. It seems to me and many others that what makes our system broken is the fact that we actually reward people who ignore and break our immigration laws. This happens because of catch and release, which again, Democrats believe will benefit them birthright citizenship, which should end to stop chain migration, and because our asylum laws are being exploited. We all constantly hear from Democrats and their media that these people are asylum seekers and their cases need to be heard. But the fact is for most of these people, that is not the case. Most of them are coming for a better life, yes. But unfortunately, that's not the terms under which asylum is granted. And you don't have to take it from me, some right-wing nut on YouTube. Listen to what Barack Obama had to say about it. Uh, and as I explained to uh, my fellow presidents, uh, under U.S. law, uh, you know, we admit a certain number of refugees from all around the world based on some fairly narrow criteria. Uh, and typically, refugee status is not granted just based on uh, economic need or uh, because a family lives in a bad neighborhood or poverty. Uh, it's typically defined fairly narrowly. All right, folks, if you enjoyed that, please hit that like button, share and subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to join the discussion. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you all in the next video.